What up, everybody? Welcome to the channel for all of you that are new here. Hey, we are pumped y'all decided to come hang out with us today. You are here at Rob Squad Movie Reactions, chilling in the home theater with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl, Amber, and you guys have suggested a movie that sounds really, really interesting. Now, honestly, it gives me the vibes of a movie we watched before on this channel, um, Apollo 13. Oh, you know, that, that kind of like lost Tom and Hanks. Oh, yes. Now, that was a stellar cast, but in this one, it also looked interesting because it has Miss Sandra Bullock and... George Clooney. Sandra Bullock, I've only seen her in The Blind Side. I, I honestly, off the top of my head, I can't think. I don't think I've seen her in anything seen the blind else. Side. George Clooney, what is a movie that I've I just see him in magazines. Yeah, I just I know the name. I don't think I've ever seen a George Clooney movie that I could think of. But I'm excited to see them both in this together. Right. Well, I do like Sandra Bullock. Um, I've seen her in Miss Congeniality. That's one that comes to my mind. There was two films. I, right. I love the Miss Congeniality films growing up. So I'm excited to see her in another role that you guys say is going to be great in a film that's highly suggested. And you guys are seeing this on Tuesday as we had a busy, busy weekend. We had Dance and Cheer again. You know, this is Dance cheer season so we are running wild around here with our girls but it is all so much fun but we're ready to check out this new movie that you guys suggested to us called gravity make sure you guys like the video hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss any be usually movie mondays and film friday today we're a day behind but be yeah i gotta be a little flexible but as we always say right before we start grab your favorite drink your favorite snack and you like it. going with the uh, disney mickey mouse theme today we're ready to check out some gravity. Let's get My it. My blanket. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I, like, I like space. Like Apollo, mm -hmm. that was, oh, that was such a 258 and negative 148 degrees that Fahrenheit. That is a large cat. There's nothing to carry sound. No air pressure. Hey, why am I doing your job? No oxygen. Through all the Star Wars movie, you read all those out. I love it. Oh, what was that first opening scene? Space is just, that's scary to me. It's so vast. There's so much out there. But it, oh, it gives me the peeps. Like I don't know how I don't know how astronauts do it. I do not want to be up there. There's like so many things could go wrong. Oh. Is that somebody that's floating? <sighs> Oh, that literally what? makes my, that gives me chills. Like just watching that. That is not good for the heart. The system is ready to reactivate. Double telescope engage. Upgrade fully functional. That is crazy. <laughs> He's playing around. He appears to be doing some form of the Macarena. <laughs> that would be just a best guess scenario on my part. Oh no, I like we've seen George Clooney in uh, a brother worth out. Now that's a negative. I'm afraid we're getting nothing on this end, Doc. Try again? I can't imagine that job. Now, Houston? That's negative. Could Houston be misinterpreting the data? We're not receiving any data. Mm-mm, that's not good. Well, that seems to be the case. Nearing admits that you warned us that this could happen. That's as close to an apology as you're going to Like, how much do astronauts make? Like, they gotta make millions. Not enough. They should. How long do you think it's... One hour. Outstanding. Installing your system in the Hubble is the purpose of this mission, and so we appreciate your patience, Doc. Just out there floating. Right back at you, Houston. Enjoy your last walk. My go to assist Dr. Stone in removing the panel. How could you be that comfortable out in space? Just floating. Mind if I join the fun? How you feeling? They keep asking her how she's feeling. She... Shit. things they have to consider, like that debris. You're pretty blue eyes. <laughs> well, my eyes are brown. That's <laughs> what to say. My eyes are bloodshot. Kowalski! Is this great or what? <laughs> That's one that's in the Macarena area. <laughs> and to think he went to Harvard. <laughs> he went to Harvard. <laughs> gotta admit one thing. Can't beat the view. That's right. Goodness. 
What do you like about being here? That's incredible. That's beautiful. That is affirmative. Surprisingly, Control hasn't heard the Mardi Gras. Oh. Well, it's day one. This is another story. They might, they, they probably use his story. Sister of a friend of mine. The streets are full of people. I think there's... He says, it's going down Bourbon Street. Explorers. Go ahead, Houston. Mission abort. Repeat. Okay. Mission abort. Uh-oh. Repeat procedure. ISS initiate emergency evacuation. Oops. Copy all Houston and in work. Matt, immediate return to explore. Repeat. Uh-oh. Is it the debris? Hmm. Hitting other satellites and creating new debris. Traveling faster than a high speed bullet up towards your altitude. Now copy, copy. So it wasn't a threat before, but now it's hit others and it's just coming. The board is still initializing. I'm not gonna ask you again. One second. Honey, get in. Shut it down. That's an order. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done. See disconnect from the hubble. Alright. Get in there. Oh, look, this just makes like my anxiety. Like as you talk though. about like, you know, in movies like Titanic, like the water, like what do you do? Like mm -hmm. In space, what do you do? Nothing. If there's an emergency. People are ready to disengage HST. How do they get back in? We're rapidly expanding. Multiple satellites are down and they keep on falling. Like a domino effect. Most of them are gone. Telecommunicate. Expect a communication blackout at any moment. Kowalski vision. No. Mm -mm. Explore. Repeat. Expect a communication blackout. Communication flag. Oh, you see it. You can see it. Visual contact with oh. debris. Debris is from a BSC stat. Let's go. Repeat. Where do they go? We have to go. We have to go. 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 Kennedy reports meteorological. Oh my goodness. Copy. Explore permission to retrieve Dr. Stone. You're no one. Houston, explore. Copy. What is she doing? No, don't wait for us. Stop now. Houston, down. Houston, the man down. Copy. Oh. Oh, that's horrifying. She's checked in. Oh, no. Oh, for real, no. Don't detach. No. Must detach. Carry you too far. Listen to yeah, my she's voice. Like, yeah. You need to focus in visual of you. In a few seconds, I won't be able to track you. Oh. Detach. Houston. Houston, I've lost visual. Dr. Stone. Okay, I thought Apollo 13 oh. was like the most horrifying thought in space, being on the aircraft. Babe. But she's out there in a suit. I don't know, I don't know, I'm spinning, I can't, it's down, I can't. Ah. Give me a fist. It's like upsetting my stomach thinking of how that must feel. <laughs> you know, like if you were in the ocean, you feel like you're gonna be taken out by a current or a wave, but that feels like loss of control like this. Complete loss of control. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare. Cause she can't, you'd have to stay calm. How could you stay calm? You should imagine her oxygen levels is getting so low. Kowalski, do you copy? And then, I can't hear Kowalski. The International Space Station. ISS is at 7 o'clock. 10% oxygen, do you see that? Is that what it says? Please, somebody say something back. Explore, do you, do you copy? Oh, so uh, <coughs> Oh my goodness. It's like my, my, yeah, if y'all can see my palms are sweaty. <laughs> Houston, this is... Feel her heart. Anyone? <laughs> Morbid question, but I wonder what like happens to a body in space, like if it was to just drift, like what eventually happens? See, I was about to ask, like has this ever happened, like in real life? I hope it, that couldn't happen. She's just floating. In space. Okay, I'm gonna need a new group Grace, just like pop into the galaxy and grab me or something. Don't leave me. Don't leave me out. Yes, Lieutenant Kowalski. Yes. Yes, Lieutenant Kowalski. I'm here. I'm here. How does she still have oxygen? I'm here. Flash your light. I'm here. I'm here. Wow. Okay. Oxygen is going down. Okay, you're breathing too fast. You're burning oxygen. You don't want to do that. You want to relax. I'm nearly there. I'm sorry, but the angles and the visuals in this movie, it's... It's crazy. 
Whoa, whoa, wait. I thought he was coming to get her in a craft or something. Not in a piss suit. <laughs> now we're both just spinning. Stop staring and help me with the tether. Okay? Well, he's got a jetpack. So he can move it. I know. I was rather be in like an aircraft or something. Now to clear you from the jets, I'm going to give you a little push. No, no. A nudge. She said, no, I'm not. I don't want to be free again. See? Where you go, I go. Better. Let's get out of here. Oxygen. Oh, I'm like, telling y'all. Okay, he's taking her back to the shuttle, but I can't believe he went out there and put a tether on like he's towing her back. Dr. Stone and I are going to make our way back to base. We get the explorer to prepare the airlock for arrival. Copy. <laughs> oh, that just had my anxiety going crazy. Mm -hmm. Two down to six percent. Scary shit being untethered up here, isn't it? Alright. I'm mistaken, they say this was her first and maybe this was his mm -hmm. last. Dr. Stone and I would like to retrieve the body of mission specialist Sharif. Oh. My go to retrieve, Roger that. Where is he? Where is he? She's only got six percent oxygen left. He's gotta get that guy's body though that was doing the Macarena. I thought that I heard him say man down and I just I Yeah, didn't they know. said man down yeah. earlier when it was all happening. It was something hit that tell you that Sharif was on. I don't know. Oh, is that him? I got him! Bunch of monkeys, you're bound yo yoing around. Hmm, they gotta be compact. Oh, oh! A piece of debris hit him. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, two down to five. Here we go, careful of the engine. This just has my heart just racing, man. Yeah. And the name of the movie, obviously being gravity and the thoughts of them just being free floating out there. Obviously just being lost in gravity is crazy. Hmm, Martian. Wait, that means they're air. Oh shit. Oh. Gosh, dog. That was a lady that was inside on the, oh. Look how, look at the Look how different their bodies already look just from the exposure to space. I should have stopped working as soon as he instructed. We were gonna get hit no matter what. There's nothing you could do to change that. Gosh, they didn't have enough time to even get back to safety. Hey. How do they get home now? Yeah. How do they get the bodies home? We need to use their escape pod, the Soyuz, to get back to Earth. Dr. Stone. She's oh. got five percent oxygen. That's so far. He said it's right. a bit of a hike, like they're not going across space. Like it's just a walk. Remember, they gotta make it in a certain time or the, the debris will come back around. We have a lot of clocks working against us. The debris coming back around. I have determined to proceed to ISS. Use one of their Soyuz for... And her oxygen tank, sorry. We could sure use a rescue mission. Central time would make it roughly 8 p.m. Wow, it's crazy to think about time when you're up there. Anything. I don't care as long as I don't talk. I just drive. Where are you driving to? Just trying to keep her engaged. Mm -hmm. Nobody special. Somebody down there looking out for me to buy you mine. She was down, her oxygen was down to 2% not too long ago. And she already wasn't feeling well before the mission started. She said hi. Since then, that's what I do. I wake up, I go to work, and I just drive. That is heartbreaking. O2 down to one person. I can see a space station that's so far away. Well, I've got good news and bad. Good news is we're about five minutes from the ISS, and I know where the Russians stashed their body. 
Bad news is, I'm gonna be about 10 minutes short of breaking Anatoly's record. Uh, I'm redlining, my O2 tank pressure is low. Oh no. You still have it in your suit. Oh, got it. So you have to sip, not gulp. Sip, not gulp. Oh, on air. The station must have been evacuated because the first soy- I'm sitting here trying to do it. <laughs> Can has one or two good thrusts left, if we're lucky. He said the good news is he knows where the Russians keep the vodka. Bad news is he's still, after all this, isn't going to beat that record he was talking about. Walking in space, or I don't remember. I don't care about no darn record. Just get me home. I would, I would very much appreciate his calm attitude. God. Brace for it. Oh. She's about to run out of air. Uh oh, did it just break? Oh, oh no. Yeah. It, it... Gosh, we made it this far. Just grab something. Grab something. Or maybe something will grab you. Thank you. Wow. Not in a good spot. Oh, we're not in a good spot. Look his face, you can tell he's. You have to let me go. No. Or we both die. You go, we're fine. No, no. Please don't let him go. No. It's not up to you. No. No, please don't. Please don't. Please don't do that. You're gonna make it, Ryan. No. Please don't. Please don't. Gosh, and now he's just gonna have to sit there and float until it's eventually over. Do you know how terrible that is? Gosh, guys. I had you. And I would also be scared because he was so knowledgeable. My CO2 alarm went off. Look, you need to board this airlock. Uh oh, so she's now getting CO2. Right, you copy? It's not good. She's gonna get confused, yeah. It's a buggy next to the Sarya You see it? Yes. No, that's a good little way to go though. But it's perfectly fine for little Sunday drive. Look to the west. Can't believe he's still directing her. Chinese lifeboat is a Shenzhou. They're flown a Shenzhou. The protocol is identical to the Soyuz. So they really have these emergency stations up there? You know, this one's Russian, I thought, and the one he's talking about is, um, Chinese. Crush it every time. Point the damn thing at Earth. It's not rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> this time tomorrow, you're gonna be back in Lake Zurich with a hell of a story to tell. So he has to get two lifeboats? Ryan, you're gonna have to learn to let go. But I... I wanna hear you say you're gonna make it. <sighs> Come on, Ryan, say it. And the fact that he's so calm. Oh my gosh, his demeanor. Going. His other name is Ryan. We have some distance between you're attracted to me, right? People say I have beautiful blue eyes. Wish she could save him so badly. Yeah, beautiful. I have brown eyes. We got her back. And then that song's gonna, his song's gonna play as he drifts. Oh, wow. It's not like they just like broke our heart. It's like, it's like they just slowly wrench it out. You know, piece after piece, they're breaking our heart. Oh. Come on. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wow. And do you know how fatigued she probably is already? Disoriented. Having to just to pull yourself in that and seal it back. She's gotta get that suit off, yeah. And get some oxygen somewhere. 
She's fading. <gasps> wow. Wow, I can't imagine what it feels like for her to just breathe. Mm -hmm. It's just her. Now I wonder, like, the, how long you have in that thing. Mm. She should at least feel a lot safer for now time, than she did a few time being, minutes yeah. Ago. I would just want to be turn the gravity off for a while. Like, oh, I've been floating for so long, I'm good on it for a minute. That's so cool. Can we just point out that Sandra Bullock is now acting in gravity, floating, and she's doing this by herself. Like, she, there's nobody for her to act with now. It's her. Solo. Did you see that flame was even floating? Yeah, I saw that. God, there you are. That's crazy. Matt, this is Ryan Copy. Please, I say something back. Come on, Matt, talk to me. Tell me where you are. Give me your position. Where are you? Give me a visual. Just tell me what you see. You've been yammering since we left <laughs> Cape Canaveral. Now you decide to shut up. Talk to me. Just say something. Please. Hey, tell me about uh, Mardi Gras. We didn't get to finish the Mardi Gras story. Guy, huh? Tell me what happened. He walked up and saw her holding hands with somebody. He's sitting in the blind. This is mission special. The spaces is scary. Yeah. From the ISS. So much out of your control. Communications with Mission Commander Matthew Kowalski have been lost. Radio transmission absent. Visuals non-existent. He's gone. We lost everybody. Darn. What? Oh god. Come gosh. on, give us a break. What is it? Is it the break again? It was the fire sparks fire. we saw. But how did those ignite? Oh man! She's got to go. Just can't catch a break. Oh, it knocked her out. Did you see her blood? Mm-hmm. Oh man! She literally just cannot catch a darn break. So bad. This is bad. Oh my gosh. Is this the escape pod? Or the like, Sue's is what he called it or something. It's like, man. You might want to put your suit back on. Didn't she say that every time she tried to drive one of these, she, she wrecked, wrecked it? She wrecked, yeah. And to have to read as you go, like like your life depends on it and you're trying to learn as you go. I'm sorry. Oh, this is, I, this is such a good movie, but it's, it's stressing me out. Constant anxiety. Yes, yeah, it's stressing me mm -hmm. out. She's off. Undocked Oh! Oh, hi, shot. The parachute's caught. There's nothing she could have done about that beforehand. My goodness, let something work out for her, please. <laughs> like this one thing. What can she do from this position? Like really? No idea. Cause did you see all the straps? Yeah. Well, she's She really about to try to go over there? I guess so. She must have found a suit. Remember, she had seven minutes. It's of satellite debris. Mm, the seven minutes was for the yeah the debris. Coming back around, okay. Yeah. You do not want to see that debris again. 
was about to say, does she not realize she let go of that tool? <sighs> Shit. Oh, oh, that's crazy. No. Look how much there is now. Look at what it did to her friend's face. Yeah, she going to get inside. She has to hope that her aircraft doesn't get any of that damage and she doesn't get hit. It's like a hellstorm times a thousand. And oh, that's bad. Oh my god. The graphics in this show. Please let her be able to get back inside. So I'm saying it's like the stuff just like fly around space like that all the time. Now remember they blew up uh, a satellite and so that debris ended up hitting more crafts and then therefore created all this extra debris. So did we lose, um, I'm going to call it a wing. I was just about to say that. Yeah, I know, I, I thought so. I saw one go. So now she doesn't really know how to drive one. And we're missing a wing. And I am off its course by about 13 degrees. I will correct trajectory. You see how cold it is. Nobody's responding. She's literally making this voyage through space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> visuals on this are incredible. I'm saying that and the fact that Sarah Blood King is keeping this engine without a co, like anybody acting next to her right now. It's just her. Oh my God. Is that the fuel? You gotta be kidding me. That was the fuel. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Ah! 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 Like, come on, something else? Luckily, nobody can see it. Was that engine power? Oh. She's adrift now. She's not going to make it. She's going to be drifting, waiting for the next 90 minutes for that stuff to come Ooh. back through. Look at the northern lights. <gasps> yes, yes, made it, made it, made it. I wonder who she's talking to. Can I say, is that, your, is that your name? Honey Gung is your, is your name? Is that your name? <sighs> Dr. Ryan Stone, I need help. I am. Do the dogs. So she's not talking to Space Station. <laughs> it's not who she needed. She got picked up with somebody, not but not anybody who sounds like they could help. Oof, oof. Dog. <sighs> oh, oh. This man on the other line has no idea that he could help her because they can't communicate. And that's the only thing they both understand is the dog part. The thing is, is that I'm still scared. Oh. Nobody will mourn for me. No one will pray for my soul. Oh. Nobody ever taught me how. Shut her tear. So maybe they picked up on the baby mommy. This whole thing is just, uh, from the very start, nothing has gone her way. And the thing is, is it feels like she's made it so far and to kind of feel like all hope so is gone. Like, what do we even do from here? It's sad. Because how are you make it this far and not make it out? That, that's the deal. You've made it through so much. Why is she turning her oxygen down? She's turning her oxygen down. It's nice having you go and keep singing just like that. She's letting herself go. What the heck? Who is that? Somebody came? How? <gasps> Who is this? I don't know, but she hadn't had her helmet on. What in the world? 
There's no, there's no entire way. Ain't no way. How? He just went right down there and turned the oxygen up. What? It's a little gloomy. I want the story. I'm so pleased. Oh, I'm so, like, this is the turnaround I needed. I'm so happy. The battery power. It helps I didn't have you around to distract me. I have to say, I'm glad to see you. I didn't think you were going to make it. <laughs> he asked her if she found the black guy. So how did he, I want to know his story, how he got back. And he really did come to get that vodka like he said he would. I mean, that has to take a little bit of the edge off. They did see to that. Let's get out of here. The Chinese station's about 100 miles, just a little Sunday. She was just about to give up. Literally. I told you. But you know about it. And I crashed it Listen, every time. you want to go back or do you want to stay here? So how did he make it all the way around? I don't know. I need this story. He said 13 hours. It's time to go home. That didn't happen. That didn't. Ah, that didn't happen. He's gone. So is she gonna do all those things he told her? He came to. He obviously came. He's obviously gone, but he came back. She hallucinated it, or you could say the spirit just told her how to get some more fuel. I really thought we were gonna have him back. Yeah, he did say landing is launching. She has to read the, it's so crazy to me that she has to read the manual. Off the earth, hey Matt. Since I had to listen to endless hours of your storytelling this week. <laughs> and Mama found her red shoe. <laughs> I was so worried about that shoe, Matt. It was just right under the bed. Oh. Give her a big hug and big kiss for me and tell her that Mama misses her. Tell her that she is my angel. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Roger that. I'd love to see some hope back in her. Here we go. Especially because it would have been so easy to be like, I just want to go with my baby. But she's fighting for her baby. You can see the other station. But not without me because you're my last baby. She's gonna get to it. That's her way. What's she need the fire extinguisher thingy for? Four, three. No more just driving. No more just driving. <gasps> She's using it to direct her, to give her some direction. Where are you? Wow. <laughs> Do you know how smart Crazy. these people are? And look how fast that thing's falling. Mm -hmm. What's her plan on getting attached to it? Get in it. Come on, you're so close. But thanks to everyone else. Oh, grab something. Oh, grab something. Mm. But she gonna have to get inside of that before it breaks mm -hmm. orbit. <laughs> when that door flies open, the amount of pre like the pressure that goes. Oh no! Is that debris? Mm -hmm. It's debris. Damn. Gosh. See what I'm saying? It slings her. Get in. She's still got to make it through more debris. Look at that. It's all that debris. And it's only getting more and more, right? The more it goes around. And she's got to find her way to it. And then she's got to navigate something that she can't even It's all in, yeah, Chinese. So use the power buttons. She just has to remember where everything is at. You have to. Her version. Uh, okay, that is so. Meanie, meanie. I'm about to undock from Tiangong. 
Ah, and I have a bad feeling about this mission. Did he say that the whole mm -hmm. time? Never, never mind. Sorry, you said Sorry. Sorry. Ah, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, can you imagine how hot it's getting? All right. Gotta be able to withstand that heat. Only two possible outcomes, all right? Make it down there in one piece, and I have one hell of a story to Right. Either way, whichever way. How? Mm. Either way, it'll be one hell of a ride. <laughs> oh, man. What part is she in? Can you imagine how hot it's getting? After all she's been through. After all she's been through, I just hope she makes it. And I wonder the, the impact, too, when she lands. Man, I don't know how anyone could be an astronaut. Ain't no way. No way. Astronauts have to be brave, they have to be brilliant, they have to be fit. Ah, oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, where's the shoe? Okay, the shoe, the parachute. We lost the one on the first one, we didn't lose this parachute. Mm, yeah, on the Russian one, we lost mm -hmm. it. But she's burning up. She needs to get to that water before it gets too hot. She made it back. <laughs> this is like Agnes World. <laughs> to live and tell a story like that. Yeah. If she goes like this, do you know how mad I'll be? Especially, especially she's in a spacesuit. Do you know how heavy that thing is? Mm -hmm. Alright, she got out. But her suit. Yeah, she got to ditch that suit for real. Come on. Oh my gosh. Talk about a survivor. <laughs> Guys. You want to talk about a movie that keeps you on the edge of your From seat? From beginning to end, like there was no breathing room. Oh my God. This movie we had a little bit of breathing room when he came back, but then I was just a ha ha joke. This movie moment. has stressed me <laughs> out. It's freaking awesome. Scary, but something nightmares made of, but awesome. You know how good that probably feels? Oh my goodness. Y'all take a minute to rescue me. Just let me, let me breathe. <laughs> I'm finally a new job as soon as I get back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to be put back on earth in that beautiful setting right there. Probably makes it 10 times more beautiful. Man. Yeah, I'm Just happy to be there. I'm kissing the ground. After all that, yes, yes. Like Homegirl started out being lost in space. I did not think she was gonna be the one to make it out of all of them, how it started. She wanted to give up. <laughs> She's probably so fatigued. Yeah, you go. I love it. <laughs> she's battled. Man, she's battled. And this isn't just her winning against what just happened in space. She's battled her grief. This is her beating that, too. 
That was really great. That was incredible. Literally, like I said, kept you on your toes from the very, very beginning. Sandra Bullock and George Clooney both played amazing, amazing roles in this. I, I, I was, that was a good watch, but very stressful. Well, the storyline was really, really impeccable. I mean, if for something to keep you on your toes and anxious the whole way through. I mean, that goes to say good writing. And then you could Ooh. also say for it being about space, the graphics in it were impeccable. But, guys, I just, I'm just going to give Sandra Bullock all her flowers for this because she did so much of this on her oh, own. Oh, solo, after yeah. After George Clooney, after George Clooney drifted off, right? I mean, it was just her. I don't think I've ever seen the movie where it's just one person for the majority <laughs> the of the movie. Thing, yeah. And that goes to show you how phenomenal she is as an actress. The whole thing was amazing. I thought Apollo was good. This right here, man. It went absolutely. by like that, even though we were It anxious. went by just like mm -hmm. that. It was amazing. So thank you guys so much for suggesting this amazing movie to us. Hey, we're ready to check out what's coming next. Drop down in the comments. Let us know what y'all want us to watch. So we'll be sure to check it out. But as we always send you guys out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every day that y'all wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome y'all to the RSR family. But y'all have a goal every day. Let them know, Mom. All right, y'all just go out in this beautiful world and make somebody smile. We love y'all. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.